Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a very good morning to everyone. Crosslink updates, crosslink migration updates. Um, according to uh, people that they have already seen and that they have already met and they have already talked to, a personal above to police station. And um, when you reach to police, actually, you are only uh, told that your case in the, uh, is under a process. So the police do not handle this case up to the end. There is a part they handle and after they will send this case or forward it to the respective authorities and that is the public prosecution uh, that is located at Al Dafna opposite city center. Well, uh, if you are new here on this channel, kindly consider subscribing and uh, if you are my subscriber, I thank you so much for returning back. You can share this video to a friend so that we can work together so that we can see on how we can help each other expose these uh, scammers and also struggle to see that we can have our money refunded back. You know, these scammers are using a lot of techniques. There are people from, not necessarily from cross-link migration, but they have also they are also trying to process uh, their documents, uh, work permit and visa from other agents. I don't know if there is any evidence of anyone who was called under crosslink by a Canadian number for interviews, but it is being done by other immigration consultants whereby they will be having people who are exactly having Canadian numbers. They will call, try to play you until you clear up all their deals so that if they are to run away, they run away in peace. So please, do not receive a call from Canada and you think that is authentic. Unless you agent or this immigration cons consultant that you are dealing with has informed you. Sometimes they do inform you when they have also arranged fake numbers. It is very difficult actually to go in this process and you are dealing with a scammer and you realize it. If they try to pretend, they will do all ways to make sure that you cannot understand their ways. They will promise uh, these people actually do few things. First, they promise that when you reach in Canada, you will actually be able to take your family uh, for uh, after obtaining the permanent residence, which is not easy even for the people who are in Canada. It's not just a walkover that the following day you will get a residence, a permanent residence permit. They promise good salary. They give you assurance of visa and work permit, which is not true. Not everyone who, who goes to Canada just walks away with a job. Even people who are in Canada, you look for a job the way you do in your home countries. They promise to refund the policy. But in the document that you sign, there are a lot of things. Actually, if I believe that most of you people, if you have read uh, that agreement you read maybe like three to four percent or ten percent if people were so keen enough because it's about signing so you don't know the details that are there so if those people try to extend their time as they acquire more people to scam they will be playing the first people until they finish like a year so within a year those people are able to run away peacefully Actually, these people for crosslink, I believe they have been like eight months old here. So they decided to run away in eight months. But it is very possible because the refund policy says that you must spend more than 120 days. Those are how many months? They are close to four months extra from the seven months they give you. So that's almost a year. So within a year, they plan their ways of running away another thing they show evidence of work permit and visa they will assure you that some people have already got them 
yet it is not true. Some they just have fake documents. They will try to show you at a distance, but they don't want you to reach near and see them or take a picture for evidence. So when they tell you all those things and they show you they don't allow you to take picture, you'll also give a reference to your friends and tell them that they have seen some work permits and visas for some other people. So this must be a genuine company, yet it's not. They will show you legal registration. Legal registration, it means that they are legally operating in any country where they will be. Like, for example, these people have been in Qatar and operating legally. Of course, the government may not know exactly what is in someone's mind. They will see a business starting. Not until people begin complaining the, the way these complaints have come, the government can also not realize that these were scammers. So guys, let's try to make sure that we'll reach public pr prosecution. If those people who have not yet gone to authorities like police, please keep reaching there. But when you reach there, they are giving you only one way. Just reach public prosecution to follow up on this case. And the case number is 14127. 14127. That is the reference. So when you go to public prosecution, I think they will also be getting some details from you. And we see. But I advise everyone, if we are to move, let's move in a big number. Let's move in a massive number so that maybe our voices can be heard let's not keep moving one by one when you go there as you are as an individual they tell you we are we are working on you but when a group of people happens to reach there maybe they can see that something is really going on and also people have not registered with the police you can continue going there so that they can establish the exact number of people that were scammed. And actually, if a refund is to be done, those people who have complaints are the ones that are most likely going to receive anything if it happens to be there. So it's better to present yourself when it is still early so that if you are fall in that category of those people who will be refunded their money, you can be among them. Well, thank you so much for listening. Uh, kindly subscribe to this channel and we are going to move together until the last point when we have really received the necessary help that we are seeking most especially from the government currently.